with this video, I guarantee you will make $10,000 in profit this summer. I guarantee it. With these methods, I guarantee. I guarantee. Time to give y'all the sauce. Y'all came here, and y'all came here for one reason only, to learn how to make some moolah reselling sneakers. And I got you. Now, reselling sneakers has changed a lot over the years, especially from my last year video. Now, I'm gonna talk about some similar things, but it's not gonna be exactly the same, because the sneaker reselling market is a lot different now. By the way, you like this new merch? Focus on the back, focus on the front, embroidery in the front, silk hoodie. If y'all don't know me, my name is Frank, and before I started making content, I was a sneaker reseller. And over the past three years now, I've made over $150,000 reselling sneakers. Reselling sneakers is literally an outlet to learning about business and being exposed to everything in the business world. You're negotiating, you're keeping track of inventory, you're dealing with customers. So much stuff comes with reselling sneakers. Let's get out of the room and into the warehouse, which is the living room, which is, yeah. So welcome to the new warehouse. So there are three methods I use to best optimize and maximize my sneaker reselling. Two of them you already heard of. One, quick flips, two, consignment, and three, content creating. Trust me on this. Now quick flips, if you don't know what quick flips are, I talk about this all the time, but quick flips, where you purchase a shoe and you try to sell it as soon as possible so you can be constantly reinvesting your money. A question I get a lot, and this is probably the number one question I get, is what shoe should I start off selling to start my reselling journey? Should it be these? Or these? Or these? Or these? Or these? Every single shoe can be resold if you get it for the right price. Some random Nike slipper. If you get them for the right price, they will sell. If you buy these for a dollar, somebody would pay $5 for them. Obviously, there's shoes that would sell faster than others. That would be hyped up releases like Jordan 4s, Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s, Nike Dunks. Usually, they will always sell no matter what price you get in them at. There's one big thing you wanna consider when you are reselling sneakers, the demand of that shoe. Now, you could buy any shoe to resell, but you have to figure out how long it would take for you to sell. If it's a shoe that everybody wants, these look pretty nice, the shoes will sell faster. If it's a shoe that is definitely acquired taste, then you have to factor how long it would take for you to sell. So if there isn't too much demand for it, you shouldn't be paying top dollar for it because it won't be a quick flip unless you get it for a much lower price. So that's why for a shoe like this, you could pay a much fairer price because you know a lot more people will want it and you could probably sell it quicker. So you'll probably have to factor in the time it would take for this item to sell. So you probably have to offer a lower. Let's break this out into a simple example. Say these usually sell for 150, but there isn't too much demand. So it'll probably take you like two to three weeks to sell. You wouldn't want to pay 130, 120 just to make 20 to $30 profit. You'd want to pay 100 so you can make at least $50 profit. And if it doesn't sell right away, you can sell for 130, make $30 profit and still sell it fairly quickly. Now I'll say these sell for $300 easy, 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 easy. You know they can sell for $300 because you've checked the market. You could easily offer on low end, 250, 260, 270, you could definitely offer for that. If no, you could get a guaranteed sell. Easy quick flip. Easy quick flip, then that's definitely a good buy. So to summarize, if there's more demand to a shoe, you could offer more money because more people want it, you could sell them faster. If the shoe doesn't have that much demand, you should offer lower to factor in that weight. You don't wanna be stuck with a shoe that you can't sell. Now the best way to check demand, new shoes, is through StockX sold listings, GOAT sold listings, and eBay sold listings. For used shoes, you wanna check out GOAT used pairs, eBay used sold pairs. That could give you an accurate description of how many times the shoe is selling. You look at the Panda Dunks sales on StockX, you'll see they're selling tens, hundreds of them every single day, every single minute. So you know those are in demand. If you go look at a random Jordan 13, you'll see it's a little more spotty. Not as much sales as a Nike Dunk Panda would do. So you gotta factor in that as well. Now, the second question that I always get asked is, what size shoes should I sell at? Now there's no magical number because it varies on the model. Generally for me, sizes five through 12 sell really good. But keep in mind, there are shoes that would sell better in bigger sizes and there would be shoes that would perform better in smaller sizes. Take for example, this Jordan 10 right here. These are the Jordan 10 Charlottes. 
These would probably perform better older OG sneakerheads, so I would focus on getting bigger sizes for this because not many girls or young kids would probably want shoes like this. But take into example, these nice young pink corals, I would focus on getting smaller sizes because girls would probably like the shoe. Could be a boy's shoe as well, but I think girls with smaller shoe sizes would definitely like copies and not so much the bigger sizes. So when it comes to that, it kind of takes common sense knowing what shoe model would sell for what audience. A lot of girls or kids are gonna buy the shoe. Focus on getting the small sizes. But if you think a lot of the OGs, older, older people will want a shoe like that, focus on getting the bigger sizes. So now you know what shoes to sell and what to price them at. But where do you get them? The first thing you can do is get shoes for retail. With my sneaker reselling journey, I wouldn't really recommend copping too much on retail nowadays. The sneaker market has gone down a lot and there aren't too many profitable shoes that have been dropping recently. So you don't even have to focus on retail releases. That's what I'm telling y'all because that's not even what I did. But it'd be good to get into that information. And the best thing I did was to join Discord cook groups or follow a lot of Instagram sneaker reselling pages. Now I have a, I have a little self promo. <laughs> I have a little Discord on my own, it's called TFG, this is the focus group. There's a cook group that has all information, sneaker reselling wise, we have a lot of guides, Instagram reselling guides, local guides, consignment guides, we're gonna get into that. Getting you into retail drops, teaching you how to bot, helps you with all that. So, if you're interested, go ahead and join right now. But let's get back into the meat of the video. You don't have to pay or join my cook group. There's a thousand cook groups out there that are paid, that are free cook groups that give you information. And you don't even have to join cook groups, period. It's just an option to help elevate different aspects of your reselling. But here's the best way to get your shoes, locally. So, what do I mean by that? Local marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace offer up shoe even Craigslist for goose, yeah. for goose sakes. Now when I tell y'all, there is so many deals on Facebook Marketplace, that is literally how I started my journey. In the summer of 2021, I made $10,000 that summer, literally reselling things off Facebook Marketplace. Now you've probably heard a lot of people say this, but there's a free section in Facebook Marketplace. I didn't even start reselling shoes when I first started. I was reselling anything I could get my hands on. Because you don't have to limit yourself to shoes. There's so much more than you could do. So that's why I'm telling y'all, reselling sneakers is an outlet to business in general. Because you can learn so many aspects of business. But what I did every day for that summer, and this is what I recommend if y'all are students, and y'all wanna lock in, y'all wanna get to your money this summer. I try to look for a deal every single day. I would organize meetups and meet them at my local YMCA or my local post office that I live near, and I would make deals every single day. That was the only thing I focused on that summer to get $10,000 a month in profit. Because if it was used shoe, used couches, used chairs, used bicycles, I would clean them up and then take better pictures and post them up same day, as soon as possible. So I'm going through all my listings with shoes. I'm rapid fire, offering, 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 doing my research, how much I should offer them and offer, offer, offer. I try to speed run, do as many deals as possible, negotiate as many deals as possible. So by the end of the day, I have so much more shoes to start reselling and start getting money. You're gonna create relationships. There's gonna be people you meet who are sneakerheads who collect shoes. And once you have a very clean, simple, and fast transaction with them, they'll wanna do business with you again. And with that, you're gonna create a network around your local community. And hopefully be known as the sneaker guy. And doing this by one summer, you'll master how to start flipping locally, reselling sneakers. I guarantee you, you're gonna know everything. I promise you. You're gonna know what prices to offer. You don't even have to research. You're just gonna keep going and going and going. It may be scary. On my first sneaker meetup, I was shaking. I was so scared. Now, I can make a whole video about quick flips, but I wanna give y'all sauce on the next two methods as soon as possible because your time is valuable and your time to make change is now, man. Second method, consignment. Now, if y'all don't know what consignment is, let me bust it down so simple for y'all. Consignment is where you take your sneakers, usually brand new, you bring them in the sneaker store, they sell the shoes for you. Once they sell the shoes, they'll take a little percentage and you'll keep the rest. Now, why is that beneficial? Why would you let a sneaker store sell the shoes for you? Simple. First off, when you're starting off, they have way more reach. They're probably in a mall or somewhere where there's a shopping center a lot more customers. Secondly, sneaker stores charge a lot more than the current market on StockX, Go, and eBay. Because guess what? They have to pay for overhead. They have to pay for employees because people like to pay for the convenience. A lot of people, more likely than not, they would like to go in a store and get their shoes right when they see them, right when they like them, and they'll pay for it 
just for that convenience so they can go home with a brand new pair of shoes. They don't have to wait online for shipping. They don't have to worry about getting a fake pair of shoes. They can just go in and get a real authentic pair of sneakers right there and then. So the best thing you could do right now to start consigning your brand new sneakers is to get connected. Go to your local mall, your local shopping center, and find a reselling store. Ask them if they do consignment. If they do, you're in luck. And if they don't, you're in luck. Finding a local consignment store, you're making a connection, you're building your network. And number two, if they're not consigning pairs at the moment, they might just be consigning sneakers for close friends or only the owner is consigning sneakers. If you build that relationship with that sneaker store, they might allow you to consign your sneakers. Now for you, it'll probably be up to you to keep track of all your shoes in there and when they sell so it doesn't get messy. Keep track of everything, keep everything in a spreadsheet so you're organized and what price they sell it at and what margin you got and what all the profit and everything, 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 everything. If you need help tracking your shoes, I have a free sneaker reselling spreadsheet down in the description to help you all out. But now guess what, guess what, guess what? If you make that connection with that local store, you could ask them what shoes are selling. What are the hottest selling shoes right now? Oh, 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 oh. let me tell you. Nike Dunk Pandas are selling really hot in the store right now. We sell them almost every single day in every single size. You go to your local marketplaces like we talked about earlier and you search up Nike Dunk Low Panda. Look for all the brand new sizes and cash them out. You know what size Panda Dunks they sell for. You know what price they sell for. So with that information, you know how to offer when you're buying the shoes locally on Facebook Marketplace, offer up anywhere. So, so, so I, so I just put y'all on an insane game right now. I'll put y'all on insane game right now. Because with that consignment store connection, you can do so much. You know everything. You know all the information you need to offer and buy shoes that will sell, that will sell and you know will sell, that will easily increase your profit. Now, if they're using a consignment software, which the best consignment portal that they could be using is Sneaker Consign, if they are using Sneaker Consign, consign with them. Because Sneaker Consign is one of those consignment portals that protect the consigner. Because it keeps track of all your inventory, you know what sells, what doesn't, and you can easily manage your payouts. To make money as consignment is to find a sneaker store yourself and to be the first consigner. Because once you're the first consigner, you're the one getting all the sales. If you fill up the store with all your inventory, guess what shoes are selling? Your shoes. So that's the best method. But if you can find and make connections and become the first consigner at a sneaker store, trust me, you're making more than $10,000 in profit that month. Or that summer, like you might, like you will be making a lot of money that summer, trust me. And how do you get connected? It all comes with being consistent, meeting new people, always selling shoes, being in the local picture. In, in your community, if people are thinking about buying shoes, they think of you. If a sneaker store is looking for some pairs that they need, they think of you. And that comes with constantly doing business, constantly promoting your brand, and constantly just being out in the picture. And being consistent and keeping at it every single day, you never know what you might fall into and what connections you might make to elevate your sneaker reselling game. Now it's something that I might edge into doing full time. Not even reselling sneakers now. I might save it for another video because this video is already getting long. This video is already getting long. I know y'all probably want it, but trust me, it will be so beefy and juicy and so saucy because guess what? I don't see nobody else being a sneaker reselling content creator like me that's went into this path. So I will tell y'all all the sauce when I get it. So y'all better get like $10,000. What? So y'all better get 10,000 likes on this video and make sure y'all subscribe. So y'all can get the third method. I tr Trust me, it's gonna be a banger. But these two methods alone can easily get you $10,000 plus in profit this summer. Guarantee it, guarantee it. Last thing I wanna say before I wrap it up for me, I obsessed over this. This was everything I did. I did this every single day for the past three years reselling sneakers. I went to college two hours away every weekend on Friday. I would drive two hours back to my house to constantly maintain my business. I'd be sourcing shoes every single day, selling shoes every single day. This was basically my, pers like my personality. I obsessed over this. I wanted to succeed. So that's why I tell y'all, how much you get out of it is how much you put into this. Simple as that. Really simple. Your favorite YouTuber's first video was horrible. I know mine was. Your first shoe that you try to resell 
might be horrible. You might not even make profit on it. Your first sneaker meetup might be horrible too. You, you might be shaking when you meet the person. That was me. But if you keep going day by day and staying consistent and staying focused, I guarantee there's nothing y'all can't do. I guarantee there's nothing y'all can't do. I promise that. Because when I send a mission to retire my mom, I'm gonna do it. Treat how hard you work like you need to brush your teeth every day. Treat how hard you work like you need a shower every day. Treat it like you have to do it. Because if you have to do it, you will do it. And you'll become way better at it. All right guys, make sure y'all subscribe. Most importantly, stay focused. Bye.